Dr. Hilary Jones is here and the North East Chairman for the British Medical Association, Dr. George Ray. Very good morning to you both. You. Dr. Hilary, you want patients to pay to come to see you, don't you? Uh, in my heart, I would hope that they wouldn't have to pay, but realistically, general practice is in crisis. It's falling apart. We have more GPs leaving than, than that we can recruit, and people are often having to wait three weeks for an appointment. Would you want so them we to, have be, to, fund to pay somehow. £45? No, I'd like them to pay a token gesture, maybe 10 uh, to 25 has been mooted. This happens automatically in France and Australia it works very well and there's no evidence at all that it affects access to health care for people on low incomes so, so I think it's a brave move that will be necessary from politicians but they'll never ring fence money uh, from taxation for the NHS that's okay. never been done so this is one way of people perhaps appreciating what they get for their money that, at the GP that, surgery. That's an important part isn't it uh, Dr Ray as Hillary says is people kind of we take for granted the NHS we think seeing our GP is free because it's on the NHS no one really appreciates it's £45 for every 11-minute consultation. And if it works in France and Australia, like you're saying, and that would really help general practice, why isn't it a good idea? It's not a good idea because what we would do is change the fundamental ethos of the National Health Service. Mm -hmm. And the NHS is basically about when you need to see a doctor, it's free at the point of delivery. And that's something that I really respect. And in every sense of the word, the reason we're even debating this this morning is because we do not have a government or any politicians who are adequately funding the National so Health that's Service. The case, if there's no politicians it, that are adequately doing that, finding a way to do it beyond what they're doing perhaps is the answer, as Hillary's saying, that if that could fill some of that gap, if that could protect general practice, which is struggling at the moment, why, why not move with the times? When the NHS was created all those years ago, that being free at the point of, of delivery was a fantastic ideal that could be delivered. We're a long time down the line now. It's a bigger population, a much older population as well. More demands on, on the NHS. Absolutely. But what you've got to realise is that we do not put the same amount of the gross national product into health in comparison to all the other wealthy European countries. And if politicians seized that and actually did that, then we wouldn't be having this debate today. Mm. Okay. Because well, sorry, and we can discuss that with the health secretary who's just coming up. I wonder whether you think that actually uh, uh, charging would put people off going to the doctors. Because I think a lot of people might think, well, that's all right. You know, we should pay. It's a great service. want to keep it. But actually, the moment when you're sick, is it something that's going to stop you making the call? Undoubtedly, Susanna, it would stop people. We are debating this today during a time where in the news, even last week at the Royal College of Nursing, you're hearing that some nurses are actually going to food banks. Why do people go to food banks? Because they don't have enough money for food. So do you think if that is a situation, they would then go and see their family doctor? And if they do delay, when they actually do come, the medical problem could be infinitely worse and more difficult to treat and more expensive to treat. And has that happened, Dr Hillary, in the countries where you pay? You said from France, no, it's means instance. tested in France, so they get their money back, um, and it doesn't seem to have, help, uh, uh, have affected access to health care. So that shouldn't be a bar, and certainly we wouldn't want that to happen. But um, this I'm is. I'm just going to say, and I'm just going to say completely anecdotally, talking to people who use the health system in America, where you, you know, it's not I'm free. Sure, it is a bar. There are discrepancies. People. There they they start in, in so terms that of if you've got something minor, you might not go to the doctor correct. because Absolutely it's not correct. worth paying that small fee Correct. and you might you know and hopefully you'll get over it at home yeah. but possibly not I think in America it's different I, I don't like the American system but but as I say if you look at the Australian model look at the French model it seems to work very well uh, and patients really uh, admire the way general practice is, is, is run there they, they they pay a fee for seeing the GP they also pay a fee if they're referred to a specialist by the way but they often get the money back uh, if their income is, is low. And the onus is on them to trace that and get that money back. Yes. Uh, Abby makes an interesting point. She doesn't agree with proposals to pay for GP appointments, but I do think those that miss appointments should pay a fee. What do you make of that, that as an idea? Well, that's banded about a lot. And I even asked my staff yesterday, what do you think about mm. the idea of charging patients? Who's going to actually charge the patient? 
Who's going to have the responsibility? Is it the GP? Are we going to be the SAS of the health service when people miss appointments and try to bring the money in? So the difficulty with the administration It'd be very difficult. of those charges. What will that do to the doctor-patient relationship? I don't think it will do a lot for it. Okay. You know, I always hear that argument about GPs not wanting to charge patients, but if they weren't working in the NHS and they were private, they wouldn't mind charging their patients, and it works very well in private practice. So extend it to the NHS, and everyone's happy. They can get appointments on time. Um, as many appointments okay. as they need, it could work. Let's see if everyone's happy because the Twitter poll was would you mind paying to see your GP if it helped to fund the NHS? 44% uh, say yes, so a majority saying no. They still no. say no. Yeah.